multiple choice quiz project reads in a data file that is tab delimited and the data contains a question about presidential trivia, a correct answer, and three wrong answers. We're going to create a class that will model that data as objects. So each question and the corresponding answers will be part of a class instance. And then we'll use a list of all those instances in presenting the questions and we'll also create a method in our class to randomize the order of the correct answer along with the three other wrong answers and keep track of which one is correct. That way we can provide feedback to the user. Here's a screenshot of what the question will look like. So we're going to present one question at a time, get the response, provide feedback, and then have them press enter to go to the next question. At the end, we will provide a final score of how many they got correct out of the 10 questions. And I give you some tips along the way to create this. Particularly in randomize your answers, it's a little tricky. We're gonna use a loop to keep track of the answers that have been used. And then we'll use the Dunder STR method to present the question and answers in our running program. And there is the rubric as far as assessing the project. Let me show you how I solved this problem. Uh, let's look first at the data file, which is a tab delimited text file. And the format is a question of presidential trivia, tab the correct answer, tab first wrong answer, tab the second wrong answer, and tab to the third wrong answer. And there are 10 questions in the data file. So we're going to read that data file in from our main program and model it using a custom class. Here then is the class that I wrote called MC Question. I'm going to import random. We're going to use the random number generator to randomly reorder the correct response and the three wrong answers. So it's not always answer A as being correct. If you always just read this in the order that was presented. So our initializer. And we're going to get the question, the correct answer, first wrong answer, second wrong answer, and third wrong answer from the data files. We'll read that in and we'll populate our properties with those items. And I basically named them the same. I'm also going to have a property here called uh, order that is going to be the order of the answers we're going to present. And currently, by default, it's going to be the correct answer as A, and then B would be the wrong two, C would be wrong three, and D would be wrong, th wrong three. And the correct answer to start would be A. We're going to write a method that will shuffle those responses. Now, I did create getters and setters for all of the properties. However, in this example, you really I'm not using any of those. I just do that as a initial step when I'm creating a class, most often a data class. Uh, but I'm not, going to I'm not going to get or set any of the individual properties from the program. So you could actually exclude all that, but it doesn't hurt to have it in there. You may want to to use those values down the road or set those values down the road. The added one though that I do want is the the get correct answer property. Then we need our method for randomizing the answers. I'm going to have a boolean list called used has four false values in it and then another string list called letters and it's going to have a b c and d as those items. C is going to equal, and use C for the correct uh, response here, is going to equal random.randint0, 3. So I'm going to get an integer between 0 and 3 inclusive. And I'm going to set the used of whatever that integer is. Let's say it comes up as 2. So I'm going to set used element 2, that'd be the third one. I'm going to set that as true, so it won't be used again. And then I would basically, that becomes the correct answer of letter C. Just happened, I use C for correct and C as the, the designation of the correct answer. Those are two separate things, but they're both C. Then we need to place the other three wrong answers. I'm going to start with all three of them being equal to, to the correct response integer, which in this case was a two. So while use W1, that's going to be true. We're going to reset w1 to a new value between 0 and 3 using the random number generator. 
And as long as that's coming up as being true in our used letters, then we keep generating. And eventually we'll get one that's not being used. We're going to set that one to true. And set the then the self.order element w1 to the wrong answer. Then we just do the same thing for w2 and w3. That's going to give us our ordered list as shuffled. That method will be called when we go to print out the question and answers. So each time it's going to call self randomize answers. So it's being called internally from our class and it's going to return the question and then a new line character in A dash order element zero, B order element one, and so forth to get our four answers. So that's the class. Let's take a look at the main program. So here's my multiple choice quiz uh, Python code for the main problem. I'm going to define main. I've got some global values here of questions, correct and incorrect. Questions is going to equal an empty list. I'm going to read the data in. So I'm going to open up my data file and read that in. We're going to do it in a try uh, accept error handler structure. So my data file is presidential underscore trivia.txt. I'm opening it for read value. I'm going to ignore the first line. That's the header. And then the second line, we're going to strip out any new line characters. And while the length is greater than five, verifying we haven't reached the end of our data. We're going to split the line on the tab and questions. That's my list dot append. We're going to do MC question dot MC question. We're importing MC question up here. Items element zero, one, two, three, and four. That's going to be our question. Correct. Wrong one, wrong two, wrong three. That's going to get appended to my questions list. And then I'm going to read the next line. And we'll continue doing that as long as the length of the line is greater than five. Then I'm going to close my data file. And I'm going to print question data has been imported. If something goes wrong, we'll print something went wrong, data not read. And we'll print the exception that was thrown. When we go to ask the questions, it's going to be the next thing if we read our data. Again, I want to access global questions, correct and incorrect. I is going to equal to one. That's going to be the number of my question. Correct equals incorrect equals zero. That's going to be our score. For Q in questions, we're going to iterate through all the items in questions. We're going to print a new line character, the value of I as a string. So it's going to be one. And then a period and a right paren and a space. I set the end to nothing so it doesn't do a new line character. Then we're going to print Q. That's going to be our question. That's going to call this str dunder method. It's going to randomize our, the answers of the question and present then the question and the four answers. We're going to ask the user to enter their choice of A, B, C, or D. I'm going to convert that to an uppercase. They can do either lowercase or uppercase in the entry. If choice is equal to Q.getAnswer, so if they enter B and the correct answer is B, then we're going to increment correct by one and we're going to say very good you chose the correct answer otherwise we're going to increment incorrect by one and say sorry but no the correct answer is and we're going to format in that statement what the correct answer was a b c or d we're going to increment our question number we're going to print our prompt that's going to be either the very good or sorry and then we're going to also tell them to press enter to continue and then that will come back and show the next question when we run out of all the questions in our list we're going to print final score you got placeholder zero of placeholder one correct now use the placeholder here for the number of total questions in case we add or delete questions it may not always be 10 and then of course calling main at the very end let's watch this run so there's my first question who is the first president to hold a press conference on television? I'm going to type in an A, and I'm told very good that's the correct answer. Press enter to continue. There's question number two. Which president served the shortest term? I'm going to say D, Chester A. Arthur. And I got the one incorrect. The answer is William Henry Harrison. Press enter to continue. Who's the first president to be born in a hospital? A, Jimmy Carter. Press enter to continue. Question number four, first president see the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to say B, Ulysses Grant. 
which president served two non-consecutive terms? Of course, the answer is Grover Cleveland, but let's get this wrong and we'll say D, Millard Fillmore. Sorry, no, the answer is B. Who was the first president to be impeached? I'll say C. Which president got stuck in the White House bathtub? William Howard Taft. President never married? D, James Buchanan. First president to speak with astronauts on the moon, of course, was Richard Nixon in 1969. And last question, who is the only person who serves vice president and president but elected to neither office? B, Gerald Ford. Press enter to continue, and I'm told I scored eight out of 10 correct. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.